Those of us who paint and draw with the methods of classical realism, we often get the comment of, I couldn't be that patient, or how do you have that much patience? So I want to talk a little bit about patience because patience isn't quite the right word for it, although I know that that is the word that really pops in your head if you've never seen someone work this way. When someone is patient, it usually means that they're doing something that is boring or tedious and they have some sort of force in them that allows them to do something that is boring or tedious. The word patience to me sounds like you're making yourself do something. You're sort of enduring it, and it's a sense of strength or force that is involved with patience. And I would argue that in classical realism, what happens is we learn to see at a much more refined level. And so what Ian is seeing in the graphite and in the paper, and what he is seeing in his mind's eye in terms of the value that he is trying to target, is all much more refined and much more complex than what a beginner would see. That applies to any subject that you're working on, whether you're doing a painting or whether you're doing a drawing. If you see more information and if you understand more of what you're looking at so that you can really identify, that really applies to whatever you're painting or whatever you're drawing. The more that you can see, the more that you can understand what you're looking at means the more information is coming into your mind. And the more information that you're able to absorb and organize in your mind is the more information that you're going to be able to output. So when people see classical realist artists working, what may look like patience doesn't feel as much like patience, although it certainly involves some of that in terms of discipline and building up the psychological resources you need to be able to stick with a process for a very long time or several hours of a day. So in some sense, it's about patience. But more importantly, it's about learning as much as you possibly can about your subject of what you're looking at and about your materials. (laughs) 